Well, they have become extremely popular over the past few years and even been used to help solve cold cases. Now, true crime podcasts and YouTube videos are putting the spotlight on local cases. And one West Virginia family needs your help. They've waited over four decades for answers, and they still don't have them. Tonight, we go inside the investigation in my special report, Unsolved, the search for a killer. Like many families, the Farleys have plenty of photo albums and scrapbooks. This is uh, on Birch River where they camped a lot. But the past these files and books preserve is often painful. I was four when he disappeared. So, but the, just bigger than life. Jay Farley, Krista's big brother, was actually 6'4", but his big heart is what he was most known for in his hometown of Dunbar, West Virginia. He was a great kid, uh, just a nice, handsome, quiet young man. On a Saturday evening in July of 1979, the Farley family changed forever. We know Jay Farley was murdered. We know Maisie May is uh, missing. We don't know exactly how they, they got that way. Sean McCracken is the host and producer of Mysterious WV, a YouTube channel featuring cold cases from the Mountain State. In December of 2018, he featured the Farley case. 18-year-old Jay Farley and 25-year-old Maisie May Sigmund Palmer had only dated for a few months, and they planned to see each other at a bar called the Roaring Twenties that night in July. This is where the story gets, gets interesting. For the longest time, the public narrative on this was they were seen leaving the Roaring Twenties. But according to Jay's mom, that's not the whole story. What we understand, there was someone gave them a ride because neither one of them drove, and they went down to the King's Inn. All these years, what could have been holding it up is people were looking in the wrong place. While law enforcement knew about their stop at the King's Inn, it was never included in any media reports. Neither was the name of the person who drove the couple that night, Bill Cottrell. Where do we need to go next to trace, retrace their steps that night, Sean? To retrace their steps from here, we need to go, oh, a little over two miles west. Right as he was pulling into the parking lot at the King's Inn, Bill Cottrell remembered Maisie May saying, quote, oh, he's in there, end quote. And he never found out who he was. Others do remember speaking to the group as they entered the King's Inn. Maisie May excuses herself and goes upstairs. Jay becomes concerned. He goes upstairs to check on her, and that's the last time they're seen. It was a different world back then. And it, not until they put him in, you know, took him six months to connect the fact that neither one of them came home. Because one was reported in Charleston and one was reported in Dunbar. And to this day, Maisie May Sigmund Palmer has not been heard from. In 1984, the Farleys did get an answer, but not the one they had prayed for. We went five years and then found, you know, when, until they found his remains. Jay's remains were found about 30 miles from Charleston in Fayette County near a mine off of Camelton Hollow Road. The police report and everything, he was killed at the location where they found some of his remains. Jay's father and grandmother both passed away, not knowing what happened to him or why. And now his mother fears she will too. It's just my hope and prayer that somebody out there just give us closure. It's just that peace that my family needs, that we deserve. I mean, he was an amazing, amazing man. And a big thank you to the Farley family for sharing their story with us. But here's where you can possibly help. We've posted all of the newspaper articles, the police reports, and the pictures that you just saw in the story, along with extended interviews with the Farleys and with Sean McCracken. Plus, a link to Sean's original Mysterious WV segment with even more information. That's on our website. Go to wowktv.com unsolved. 
Fascinating story, Jennifer, mm -hmm. and I guess viewers can actually investigate this case for themselves. That's kind of one of our goals with this whole series, and this again is our very first one, but we want people to be able to dig through the evidence for themselves. That's why we're compiling in one easy place for you to find, almost making it interactive in a sense for people. Of course, the absolute main goal, though, is to get answers for families just like the Farleys. They've waited 40 years. And if you have information about the disappearance of Maisie Mae Sigmund Palmer or Jay Farley's murder, we've also included a link on our website in this story to an anonymous tip line. And let's hope those families get some answers. Mm -hmm.